Hi everyone, this video is all about Chatify, an open source chatbot platform, similar to ChatGPT, but one thing to be noted here is, it is completely open source, meaning again it's not uh, linked to any of the APIs provided by opening it, say uh, GPT-3, GPT-4, none of the APIs have been connected over here. It's completely open source. So this particular chatbot platform is built like using the open source model that is freely available or open sourced. So as you could see, this is the name of this application and this is my name and a small description written over here. Yes, a chatbot uh, like open source, uh, yeah, chat GPT like open source chat GPT chatbot that can operate as a dialogue agents. Yes, it can act as a dialogue agent, meaning it can respond to the multi tenant questions as well using the conversational prompt and the chat history. Sure. As you could see, there are multiple radio buttons over here. So all these radio buttons corresponds to certain models. These models could be like a, means certain algorithms. This algorithm could be an individual algorithm, otherwise the stacked algorithms. I don't want to reveal it now, it's just the algorithm. So you can safely consider this as an open source algorithm or the large, uh, like a v, we will call it as LLM, right? Large language model. So, yes, it is built behind the screen. Um, so these are all the uh, models available within it. And this is the chat area, as we could see. And this is the prompt area. We can input, we could make an input our prompts here. Once, uh, once we feel like it is over, so here we can hit enter to get the response back. So this is all about the interface. It's a very simple interface. Uh, this is built using uh, Python, one of the Python libraries. Yes. So now we're going to check like what are the downstream activities it can handle. In order to check that, I do have a document here. Yes, this is my document. And as you could see, there are several downstream activities listed over here. Sentiment analysis, question answering, Python syntax, cure from paragraph, base scripting, letter writing, financial questions, travel questions. Yes. Let's go one by one. I'll start it off with the sentiment analysis. So first thing we are going to ask our platform is classify the sentiment of the following sentence into positive, neutral or negative. We just wanna like uh, uh, like we just wanna see the classification of uh, the thing, the sentiment. How about the following sentence? It's raining outside. I feel so blue. Yes. Let's copy paste this to our apl application. I'm just pasting it here, hitting enter. It's just loading. Yes. It has given the answer. So to the right right side, it's our prompt, and the left hand side. It's the like, uh, it's a response we, we got from the platform. Yeah, as we could see, yeah, this is a negative sentiment. We get the answer. Yeah, one one thing we have checked, uh, checked and we can go for the next one. So, yes. So this is a question answering. So I'm gonna ask what's the biggest mammal in the world? Yes. Yes, the blue whale is the largest mammal. This is the response we have got. And I'm going to ask the follow-up question, like, uh, what can I do to help protect them? Yes, this is a follow-up question, right? So in order to answer this question, the chatbot platform should be able to respond back, response to like uh, multi-turn questions as well. So let's check, it, check on it. Yes, it has returned something like, you can help protect blue whales by not eating the seafood that has been caught by a blue whale again. Yes. Okay. Hope you have got some idea now. Okay, let's move on to the next downstream activity. Okay, it's a Python syntax. Yes. So <coughs> I'm just copy pasting it. Okay, so I'm just asking, like first I'm giving the instruction, write Python syntax. Afterwards, give me an example for Lambda function. Yes, Lambda function is quite common in Python language. Okay, so for this uh, test, I'm gonna using the model four now, because I personally feel like model four gives me better answer when it comes to the coding or programming language. Okay, let me hit enter to check what I'm getting in return. 
yes i have got something yes sir. dev function but indentation is missing okay that's some other thing okay func is called to lambda x x2 yeah to some extent it is fine right yeah okay i'm i'm gonna ask the second question now okay write python syntax uh how to remove a column using the pandas library so if you're gonna be a data scientist or the data analyst hope i hope you'll be like familiar with this pandas library right so this is mainly we used for the data analysis all those calculations and all yes now we are asking like so importing a data frame and uh, after once it is imported again so we we we, we are in a situation to remove a column means this comment the following the comment which we are going to get will be useful right okay let's check how our platform responds to it yes so it says something like df dot draw the column name access one access one corresponds to the column access zero again to a rows in place false yeah it seems okay for me yeah right okay next one is this is very interesting for me okay so as you could see again this is a paragraph this is an excerpt from like uh, one wikipedia page so what we are going to do is like so we are going to paste this entire uh, paragraph from the wikipedia and we are going to ask uh, these questions like uh, so the follow up questions the first question and then the follow up question so let me try copying it i'm just refreshing the page and just coming back to the model one yes so i'm gonna copy it yes i have copied it copied it down yeah okay so this is the thing right so i'm gonna ask my first question here so this is something related to these people and their phd things i guess okay the first question i'm asking is what is richard hamming most famous for okay let's check what answer we are getting it's just loading okay it says something like his contributions including the hamming code and it talks about some hamming uh, technology okay fine then who is this phd advisor yeah let's see okay waldemar i don't know how to pronounce it fine sure so then okay when so this question i'm taking 1942 so let's check is it checkable okay i don't want to do it now maybe you can see it later so i just have scrolled it into the video you can use it for the later purpose sure fine yeah here it is i can see so doctor of philosophy philosophy in 1942 that's fine sure so this one is okay so this seems like satisfied for me then again i'm refreshing it for the next downstream activity now i'm going to check the bash scripting so like if it's going to be related to the programming so i am going to choose my fourth model is yes. so what i'm asking for is write a bash script to split the string and comma display as a result as list yes sure so who ever knows a bash script may correct this but i'm not that familiar with the bash scripting right fine sure so next one the letter writing yes the letter writing downstream task is we're going to ask something like write a short letter uh, like uh, it is a thanksgiving write a thank you letter to a leon community about how much we appreciate their effort in creating data yes let's try this refreshing the page Sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. I would like to thank the Leon community for their efforts in creating the data. The data that you have created is very valuable. Fine. Sure. I would also like to thank you for your patience and understanding as we work to make the Leon data more accessible to the public. Okay, this is pretty good. Fine. Sure. now we are jumping into the financial questions okay how it responds to the financial questions right okay so what is the where is the main question so i was okay okay let me ask some general question because i have copied down one one uh, one on financial or related terms uh, question or related to it but it is not here 
okay let me try my own question what is liability okay liability is a legal responsibility to pay for the damages caused by an act or omission okay let me just check what's the formula to calculate it so i'm gonna ask what's the formula to calculate it i'm not sure it will give the answer or not okay liability is calculated by multiplying the amount of damages by the percentage of the fault sure okay let's ask what do you mean by damages what do you mean by damages here Okay, damages are the economic or non-economic losses caused by an act of omission. Okay, sure. Is there any formula to calculate it? So these are all the following questions, right? The follow-up questions, as you could see. So calculate it. Okay, multiplying the amount of damages by percentage of the fault i'm not sure whether it is right or wrong but it is the similar answer that we have got for the formula to check the liability so similar answer we have got i'm not coming to say again this all these five models again always uh, giving, giving out the best results it's just looking for best possible results and whatever it is it is trying on right because already i have told you right it is these are the models like open source models available out there in the internet so yes so i don't think uh, this answer is correct fine sure let's move on to the next downstream activity show sure. some travel questions okay list the top five uh, places to visit in Tra san francisco let's check on it sure list the top five places to visit in Tra san francisco okay it has okay it is seeing something like okay san francisco is it, it is a city okay so it just described like it's just talk something about the san francisco but it's not listing out like top five places let me rephrase the question okay answer the following question and then one colon so instead of list the top Give me the list of five places to visit in San Francisco. Okay, I have got it right. The Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. Fine. Okay, so there are five places. So in this particularly, we'll be asking about. Uh, okay, let's see. We'll be talking about this Alcatraz prison. Okay, what's special about Okay. Okay. Alcatraz prison is a former federal okay. So I have got some answer, right? So penitentiary on Alcatraz Island, San Francisco, California. Fine so can you okay so i have already arranged one question here can you tell me ab more about the alcatraz island yes so this is a different place right so we have seen the state prison now we are checking out the island okay let's see what it gives mm, the same answer right again again the same answer so i don't like this but fine okay so let's try it with the model 2 the same thing okay list the top five places to visit in san francisco sure so again it has given me this description or like uh, so it talks about the san, san francisco let me rephrase the question sorry 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 i didn't select the model two now i'm selecting it again i'm checking it out okay it gives the same answer i'm just refreshing it so it's selecting the model refreshing the question so give and so the following question okay so list give me the top five places to visit in san francisco 
okay sure this is model 2 yeah it has given some answer the presidio food paint the place of finance okay now we're gonna ask about this presidio right okay can you tell me more about the presidio okay okay presidio is a former military base that has been turned into a park okay okay let's ask why it has been turned into a park i'm not sure whether i'll get the right answer or not okay again it's repeating the same answer okay that's it for you so this is all about this chatbot application again so this is uh this is very much in very a preliminary stage yeah i'm in the stage of i'm in the process of developing it more okay so hope you like this video thank you all fine